Mbele, the technology practice lead for Accenture in Africa, joins us for this episode of What's Next. And it's been an interesting two years since the onset of COVID-19, just over two years. Now, this pandemic and the initial sprint to digitize, I mean, we remember that first month uh, of April 2020, the digitization that took place how fast it took place and it's now matured into long-term digital transformation across industry sectors and the pace of technology is really accelerated as i mentioned and it's this is the the need why businesses need to fast track and continue to fast track their digital transformation because there's certainly no slowing down both in how they serve their customers how they manage their workforces, just to name but a few. Now, in this episode, we will make sense of the leading technologies that are really shaping the strategic conversations that we've been talking about and how these technologies are making an impact on a South African context. And most importantly, we will discuss how to implement transformation technologies and drive innovation in a way that is secure right from the start. And this is why we've got Komotso Lebele, who's the technology practice lead for Accenture in Africa. Great to see you, Komotso. Thank you for joining us. What a ride it's been over the last two years. What overarching global trends has Accenture noted in the post-COVID digital landscape? I'm sure that at Accenture, because you're keeping tabs of all of these uh, digital technologies that are really transforming everything around us, what have you guys picked up? What are those trends that you're picking up at Accenture? Thanks, Aki. Thanks for having me. Um, as you said, as Accenture, over the last 20 years, we, we've taken a systematic look across the enterprise landscape to identify evolving technology trends uh, that, that have the highest possibility to disrupt the businesses and industries uh, for the next uh, three years. And, and uh, when we look at uh, year on year as we do these trends, <laughs> what has been uh, clear is from a COVID point of view, the digital acceleration of this enterprise landscape uh, has been unparalleled. But when, when we look at our latest report, Avi, uh, Aki, we, we reveal what we call the metaverse continuum as a key new trend that will be redefining how the world works, operates, and interacts. What, what is this metaverse continuum? It's, it's a spectrum of digitally enhanced world uh, enhanced realities and business model, which can be experienced through 2, 2D or 3D. This sees new technologies such as extended reality, blockchain, digital twins, edge compute, uh, computing, 5G, cloud, and AI converging to reshape human experience. So Aki, what me and you knows as the old internet uh, that we've used to search for data that we've used to connect through social platform is now bringing the physical and the digital worlds together um, through this uh, new platform uh, that we call the metaverse. And quite ex exciting um, um, to see this as the new trend uh, post COVID that we believe is going to reshape how the world operates and lives Aki. Yeah, I mean, this this metaverse is fascinating, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm still getting my head around it, you know, but the, the reality is that, and I heard a fascinating quotation, any company that has a website uh, needs to be in the metaverse as well. I mean, this is how the metaverse is really going to transform how customers, how organizations interact with their customers and how consumers like you and I are going to be interacting with different brands and uh, it's it's a really exciting space and uh, I'm looking forward to the metaverse and as I said I'm really getting my head around it you know it was like the early days of the cloud uh, to try and understand the cloud and how it's going to work and this is why we need to we need to take note of what you're saying because the metaverse is certainly something that is going to be here for a while how, how does digital transformation in South Africa differ or resemble global trends I mean are we are we at the forefront of the changes that are happening? Are we in sync with the digital transformation across the world? 
Aki, de definitely we are in sync. When we put together uh, uh, the Tech Vision report, uh, we, we obviously look at global trends, but what we also do is we localize this in regions, especially where we operate in. And I'm excited to see 97% of our technology executives in South Africa believes that this continuous advancement of technology uh, is becoming more reliable than economic, political, and social trends in informing their organization's long strategy. And you look at South Africa and Africa, it's, we are home for young population with a big appetite for new technologies and innovation. And th th this is evident across the continent with the affordable smartphones that has allowed us to leapfrog the, the desktop technology and adopt mobile applications. So it is an exciting space because uh, Aki, if you think about it, it's new. Like you said, you're still getting your head around this. Uh, but what makes it more exciting is because the future is not written as yet, right? So it means that this can be shaped by those who engage with it. And I think for South Africa, immense opportunities exist for our many young startups, entrepreneurs, the tech visionaries that we see emerging uh, in, in the country. And I think we have an equal opportunity to build the new skills uh, while working with the global world to ensure that we leverage the latest when it comes to these technologies. But more important, the solutions that we get out of these technologies are good solution and solution that fits our need. So definitely on par. And the fact that these are new technologies, I think the opportunity for, for us is in sync with the, with the rest of the world. Let's just engage with it and write our own future out here, not let someone else do that for us. A hundred percent. And we do have those skills, as you mentioned. We do have that knowledge. And, you know, it's it's right there. It's at the touch of our fingertips. We need to now, uh, you know, make it happen and create those unique needs uh, that we need for our particular continent. When you look at the uh, key areas of digital transformation in South Africa, um, and obviously, we, we see a very strong correlation with digital transformation and economic growth, right? And, and I guess that there is a very interesting correlation when you look at the benefits that digital transformation brings to economic growth. Have you picked up that kind of stuff in your research? Aki, we, we certainly do. And, 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 and I think what's evident that everyone has seen in countries that have picked up technology, how technology growth have contributed to the economic growth. India is one, but uh, uh, many examples that are out there. But when we look into, into South Africa specifically, and, and, and I'm going to just look at a few key areas of technology that uh, our research sees and believes that uh, this will impact our, our, our economy, uh, be it from creating new revenue streams or bringing in efficiencies. And these include technologies like cloud, which will empower businesses to operate, uh, obviously, globally and synergize their own operations uh, by reducing costs and imp improving efficiencies um, um, uh, through centralization of data and providing access to technology innovation. Now, we see uh, a lot of our partners, especially in the product space, investing in innovation and uh, Technologies like cloud, where um, um, we can bring these innovations uh, closer to their data, closer to their operation. I think uh, it's, it's one area that uh, we see and believe in our research um, shows that uh, th this will have a positive impact on economy. AI also has a potential to transform multiple industries, allowing companies to respond intelligently and intuitively to customer needs by leveraging the data at their disposal. Uh, 5G, connectivity today is now a C-level agenda. The 5G uh, with unparalleled speed in, 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 in bringing uh, uh, digital operations for com uh, to companies uh, to support their go-to-market um, strategies and, and reduce the lack in how they do this, uh, it's one of the areas. And maybe one key area that's worth looking at as we look at these new technologies be cloud ai uh, digital twins 5g and and so forth it's very important that we do this uh, with security um, at, at the forefront as we design for this solution we also look at security and cyber security 
because it's very important that uh, it's part and parcel of how we leverage this um, these technologies uh, to to bring efficiencies in operations. But more important, a uh, lot of companies are using this to branch into new markets, to branch into new offerings, and and therefore creating new revenue streams. And and no reason uh, for us not to go that way uh, in in South Africa. No, absolutely. And what you're saying, unlocking those revenue streams is the key here, right? Because uh, we have seen this over and over again, the value that technology unlocks in organizations. Um, and, and of course, it, it's, it's such an important part of that transformation, because if you don't invest um, and you don't unlock that value, your competitors are going to do it and you will be left behind. So really critical components in unlocking value in organizations when you look at companies and workforces, and I, and I guess that that's probably uh, the most important thing is that workforce transforming to meet the demands of the digital economy. Um, let's use South Africa as an example. And, 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 and how are these companies and workforces transforming uh, to meet the needs? Because I guess that there has to be a shift within the organization. And, you know, often you find that, you know, it's people in the organization that are often the biggest stumbling block to unlocking this digital transformation. So I guess it's a it's 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 a it's a work in progress, and and everybody's got to work together. You got to buy, you got to get the buy in from the workforce, um, and and to meet these digital demands that we talk about in the economy in South Africa. What are you guys seeing at Accenture? Aki, we we probably best position to 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 talk about the workforce transformation, because if you look at what we do, uh, the biggest asset and the, the only most important asset for us uh, is our people, it's a workforce. Uh, we, we offer and deliver services through our people. Yes, we deal with ecosystem partners. Uh, we're very close to our partners in terms of the products and technologies that are built. But these technologies would only make sense if you have the skills to implement them, if you have the skills to use these technologies. And, and, and what, what we're seeing and, and what um, we're advising is, uh, to your point, uh, we, we need to invest and we need to start now so that we are not left behind, whether as a country or as individual organization by a competition. But one of the biggest push to start this transformation is uh, building the skills. We work with a lot of our clients to build, firstly, we build our own skills, but we work with a lot of our clients to help them build the skills there. So the true transformation will start by building the workforce skills, uh, one, so that they can uh, use these technologies. But what we see for South Africa as well, is not only uh, rotating people to these new technologies, but it's creating new careers. We, we yes. have one of the highest unemployment rates. <laughs> the opportunity now is huge, not only to rotate our workforce, but as indicated, as we grow the economy, create new careers, build new skills. And, uh, and I've indicated that uh, the, the environment is prime because of our, our youth that have big appetite with these technologies. But to answer your question, um, Aki, we have to take uh, the workforce through this journey, be us as service providers or as organization to either know how to impl implement, uh, how, to, how to use, and how to run these technologies efficiently to get the maximum output out of them. So let's 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 invest in our people in skills development. Um, but to your point, uh, we're urging everyone to start now. And uh, and if you're going to fail, fail quick and learn from the lessons so that uh, uh, the ultimately you get the best outcome from these these technologies. Uh, let's talk about those key considerations. You know, businesses are shaping their digital strategies, and I imagine that, uh, you know, you've got to be focused on certain things to make sure that it's done right. I mean, this is a formula. And, and I often see how many organizations get the customer experience wrong, for example. So what are those considerations that businesses need to focus on that are looking to shape their digital strategies? I, I think, Aki, uh, it's, it's a number of things, and, and uh, I indicated security as one of them. Uh, as we look at our digital transformation, we need to know, make sure that security is in the forefront of that strategy. 
Um, it's important that uh, we think of data, uh, often how we use the data, uh, wh whether to increase uh, revenues, or more important, uh, um, to protect uh, those that own or should own the data becomes important that in that strategy, data governance is in there. Um, most of these new technologies, as I indicated, the, the rules are written on the fly, but that doesn't mean that we have to ignore things like uh, the legal component of, of using these technologies not to infringe on consumer rights, not to increase, uh, infringe on our employee rights. Um, so, so security, uh, data governance, um, uh, trust and legality of using this, these technologies uh, becomes important. To, to give you, to give you an, an instance, uh, Aki, um, our research indicated that about 35% of global, compute, um, global consumers, um, um, only 35% of global consumers trust how AI is, is being used or implemented by organization. And 77% think that organization must be held accountable for misuse of that AI. So it becomes very important that uh, as we build strategies to do this, we factor those things as part of our strategies of using these technologies. But we have to start, we have to, to be sensible how we, how we do that. And, and I guess uh, I do a lot of work with the mining industry. Um, big topic is sustainability as well. As we look at these technologies and our strategy to transform, Let's let's think of sustainability um, um, in the same in the same agenda. So, number of things to consider, but let's let's use tech for good. I think for me, summary is uh, leverage tech, but always have the right intent to use it for good. Homoto Lebele, technology practice lead for Accenture in Africa. Thank you for joining us on What's Next and sharing those interesting insights uh, from the latest research that Accenture has conducted. Thank you for your time. Th Thank you, Aki.